We've got to try. Got to try, yeah. We've got to try. We've got to go front seat. Ah. We've got to sit in there with the driver, have we? I want to sit there. With everyone else. I don't want to sit with the driver. We're not going to sit with the driver, are we? No, are we? Yeah. Is this exciting? You'll be surprised. It's quite a bumpy ride. And there's a bit of airtime, actually. Airtime. Airtime. Well, you get lifted out of your seat. And it gets you a little wet. Ew. Not much though. It's just mist cannons. And... Oh no, it's not good for filming. No, don't worry about it. It's not. It's not anything major. It's right at the end anyway. In the cave bit, there's no wet bits before. Prepared. I mean, once once you get out of the cave, the ride's finished. It's done. No, but the the gibbon thing told us not to go in the cave. Oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna go in the cave. No, it said not to do it. Oh, can't, oh. Hello again, researchers. Chase here. Sorry about being called away. I hope Gozi kept you entertained. Make sure you move all the, the way to the end of your row and fill you all the available seats. I'll get the wetness so anyway. <laughs> Once you're seated, fasten your seatbelt ready to go. Children should sit in the middle, away from the sides of the vehicle, and they must have their own seat. If you've got any cameras in your hand, make sure you hold on to them tight. You won't be able to stop it. Most important, you must remain seated at all times. <laughs> You're now in an area where flamingo have been sighted. These incredible birds are easily identified by their pink plumage and for spending time standing on one leg. Well, it don't look like flamingo, it looks like grass to me. But flamingo are not born pink. The colour actually comes from their diet of shrimps and prawns. Cool bird, eh? All the Anchor's expedition vehicles are fitted with the very latest in satellite tracking technology, so we can keep track of you I'll tell you if there's anything worth seeing on our website. Strange rock carvings are very old, and we're not sure exactly what they mean. We think they're a warning for local tribesmen to stay away from an ancient cave. But do they, do they don't know why. Think, yeah, do they honestly think that they look really old? They look very new to me. There's another really old rock there. Yeah, really old. Okay, researchers, our satellites show you should be close to seeing some giraffe, or to use their scientific name, Camelopardalis. They got that name because they look like a cross between a camel and a leopard. So put the two together and you get Camelopardalis. A camel and a leopard. Now look closely, everyone, and take a note of how many animals you can see so we can document the number in this hood. Two. We think 
giraffe are some of the most amazing creatures on the planet. They can live for up to 25 years in the wild. They can grow as tall as 6 meters, that's 18 feet. And those long legs help them to run at speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. Their long necks enable them to reach the tops of trees for their favorite snack, leaves. There's always plenty for them to eat as no other animals can reach their heart. Did you know, giraffes sleep for no more than five minutes at a time, and they've never been seen bathing either. Here's some amazing giraffe-related facts that might help you with your research. Did you know that giraffes are one of the few animals born with horns? The giraffe has an animal relative called the okapi. Okapi have much shorter necks and are usually found roaming on their own in the forests of the Congo. Each giraffe coat is completely unique a bit like a human fingerprint. If you thought being born as a human baby was difficult, imagine what it's like to be born a giraffe. The first thing they do in life is fall six feet to the ground. Male and female giraffe tend to eat from different parts of a tree to ensure that the sexes do not compete for food. some more magnificent beasts, rhino. The rhino around safari are white rhino, so-called because of the Afrikaner word white, referring to their wide mouths, sounding so similar to the English word white. It's actually got nothing to do with their color. Now, you may want to hold your noses for a bit here, researchers. Wherever you get rhino, you also get an awful lot of rhino dung. Rhino dung? What? Now rhino like to be on their own, so they mark out their territory with piles of their own dung to warn off other males. Zafari is home to many different animals. You will probably be able to see some antelope with a white blaze on their faces. These are called blazebok. Once the most abundant antelope species of the African plains, they became an endangered species during the early colonization of South Africa, when they were hunted for skin and meat. Thankfully, numbers have since recovered, and they are now deemed as a low-risk species. They live for up to 17 years, and both males and females carry horns, though the females are slightly more slender.
researchers manage to find it looks like you're going to be returning based far an uncharted route. Keep tracking your Saturn. Thank you. 